Welcome to Moose Invest in Cambodia. In this video today, I'll be sharing with you the benefits of having a Cambodian passport. But before we start, don't forget to like the video, share it to your friends, subscribe to Moose Invest in Cambodia, hit the notification button, contact us if you have any questions about Cambodia and check out our two official websites in the description below comment below or contact us on our facebook meta page or instagram page if you have any questions about cambodia and let's get started so yes the main benefit of having a cambodian passport is that you can buy land in cambodia and do business as a cambodian this is the biggest benefit because yes sometimes um, it's not ideal to get a Cambodian partner or your wife, your husband. It's best if you can uh, have the land under your name because in Cambodia foreigners cannot own land. You have to either have a trust company like the bank that will be like an insurance. This is a trust company and uh, it's usually done through Canadian bank and um, Shinhan Bank and KB Bank. These are uh, Korean banks uh, in Cambodia, but definitely these are the ways in which a foreigner can buy uh, land in Cambodia. You can own your own condo if it's the second floor to any floor above that, but the first floor or the land, you cannot own it legally as a foreigner. That's why having uh, Cambodian citizenship and Cambodian ID is essential if you want that protection to have the land under your name. And the second benefit is that you can have total protection in Cambodia and under the Cambodian law. You can also vote as a citizen. So everything, all the benefits as a Cambodian citizen you can get if you're a citizen of the country. And the third reason is that you can actually have a visa access to 52 countries around the world. Of course, you cannot get visa free or e-visa for uh, the EU, Schengen area, the United States, Australia, Canada, but there are countries where you can get, uh, can get a visa on arrival. And the countries where you can get the visa on arrival are Armenia, Bangladesh, Burundi, Cabo Verde, Comoros, Egypt, Guinea-Bissau, Iran, Kuwait, Macau, Mozambique, Namibia, Nepal, Nicaragua, Palau, Rwanda, Samoa, Senegal, the Seychelles, Sierra Leone. These are 33 countries where you can get the visa on arrival. And about getting the e-visa online, the countries where Cambodian citizens can get it are Antigua and Barbuda, Azerbaijan, Benin, Colombia, Djibouti, Ethiopia, Gabon, Georgia, Guinea, India, Kenya, Kyrgyzstan, Lesotho, uh, Malawi, Montserrat, Oman, Pakistan, Qatar, Sao Tome and Principe, St. Kitts and Nevis, Tajikistan, Turkey, Uganda, Ukraine, UAE, uh, Dubai, and Uzbekistan. So yes, you can get uh, the e-visa online which is uh, great if you're a Cambodian citizen. So basically you can get EVs in 27 countries and you can get also a visa on arrival in 33 countries, including all Southeast Asian countries, plus a few other like Egypt, like Panama, Ecuador. Yes, I think uh, uh, having a Cambodian passport is uh, quite important and useful even though it's not the uh, eight tier passport it's useful if you want to do business in Cambodia if you want to live here and yes also I think Cambodia is one of the fastest economies in the world so I'm sure the Cambodian passport will gain strength even though at the moment it's uh, position 95th in the world passport ranking with uh, Singaporean passport being the number one, with uh, the uh, Italian passport being number two together with a few other European nations. But yes, uh, definitely these are some benefits of the Cambodian passport. Feel free 
If you have any questions about Cambodia, comment below, contact us on our Facebook meta page or Instagram page. Check out our two official websites in the description below if you need any service in Cambodia, including Cambodian citizenship. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time.